Here is an early 1980s or late 1970s General Electric waffle iron. And this is the same type we used as a kid when I was growing up. I started to use this one more now than the other one because it's got non-stick grids. I've sprayed the grids with some Pam and they are reversible so that you can uh, you can almost use it like George Foreman's grill and put pork chops or other things in there and grill them from both sides at once when you flip the plates over. I've got them on the waffle uh, side now. This was pretty filthy when I got it. I managed to use SOS pads to get a lot of the baked on grime off the top. It's still, still not perfect. I don't think it came out quite as good as the other one, but I was able to improve it a lot from what it was. And instead of having a, a light that's provided by the heating element, this has a neon lamp, which is on when the heating element's on. So I'm going to make up the waffle batter and pour it in once the indicator light goes out. Now the indicator light is off, indicating that the iron has reached the correct temperature for waffles. We're using Pioneer brand baking mix. Morrison's is good too, but Pioneer just comes in this larger canister. So I've got the batter made up. Two cups of Pioneer mix, one and a half cups of milk, and two eggs. So now I'm going to put in the batter. If I can do this with the camera in one hand. But we'll just, uh, just spoon some batter into the grids here. Probably better shut the camera off here while I put it in. The batter's in the waffle iron, and I think that these can bake for about three to five minutes. I'll put the lid down now, and we'll just set the oven timer for about three minutes, and we'll check and see what, what they look like at that point. This is the waffle after three minutes of cooking. Looks pretty good to me. I think this waffle iron's a little bit easier to use, but of course I still like the, the older one as well.